right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here man i've been sitting here for the last like i don't know two two hours just reacting to god of high school uh man i'm enjoying the series so much that i'm just gonna continue watching my original plan i had eight episodes left to watch and i was gonna do four um for this session i just finished episode nine right i got four left and i might end up doing the rest of the four in this session i don't know what's gonna happen but we'll see i might just take a break and then come back and just finish it up because i want this to be out by the beginning of june so you guys um see here in this now you're probably already way down the path of seeing this so i i want to get this done so that when june hits boom um this is out on the channel um uh, i might drop all episodes probably is going to drop on early access so you guys can see them early um a day early or two days early or whatever whoever is into this thing on my membership or whatever on patreon or whatever so you guys can see them so that's what i'm going to do but in any case guys we're just going to jump in i'm not even going to do no proper intro here or whatever we're just going to jump in you guys know what's going on mori just destroyed the jeju guy and i really want to see what's going to happen next in this episode 10 of the series man i'm ready to go don't forget to like the video and as always man you already know it's your boy terror by reacts you know what it is okay don't forget to do what you do i do what i do which is to bring you guys great content and bring it to you i'm doing cut up for youtubes now i'm giving you guys full reactions for absolutely free you don't have to pay for and you got options over here you got options over here and i'm not begging you guys if you guys want to support the channel consider joining the membership on the channel so you can get early access to all the series on on the channel that i'm planning to do that is coming up in the future as well that you can get early access to your favorite series that i'm going to react to so you can see the episodes early and of course man thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all all of you guys that have signed up already let's get into it man let's go Four years ago, okay. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, he needs to fight this Jigal and them. I forgot about that matchup. I forgot about this matchup. Wow. Chigaz a real douchebag, dude. I'm guessing that's why Park went ape shit on him. Yep. And these people just go around looking for the... <laughs> <laughs> <あなたは本当にそれでいいの? 
So they just, they just pray on the. Damn. What is her fighting style? The hell? Yeah, he knocked him off balance with that. Yeah, with that hit him like yeah. Yeah, knocked off his balance by doing that. Oh, she uses Tekion too. Chakoriki, I gotta remember how to say it, man. So ジン手順の兄弟の力を Plus, Han will never do that to her. Jigal is just a terrible person. ちょっと。今が見てたの。人と言って王座。お前が勝つんじゃない。俺たちで勝つんだ。ここにいる3人だ。で。私たちはチームなんだから勝つのも負けるのも一緒。忘れないでね。ヒロ。ああ、そうだ
Oh, that was him that attacked Jin. I mean, Tejin. How are they utilizing that power? Okay. Oh! Park is trying to hold it off. Okay. Nice fluid animation. I like it. No cut cuts, just straight hand to hand. Let's go. Ooh. Come on, Jen. Bad at close combat? For real? Oh, oh, damn. Damn. What in the Omega symbol is going <laughs> Yo! The hell is that? Bro. I think he's trying to pull out some hidden strength out of him. Isn't he one of the six? Let's 
Okay, mas ok. <laughs> This man pulling out everything. So it's like a portal you feed? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, everybody going in. Yo, what? They going ham. この子はおじさんの孫でな。ジンモリって言うんだ。ジンモリ。ああ、それはもう強い子ですよ。でも僕も負けてられないんだ。Hey man, they really pull out the nine tail fox in this. 
<laughs> Are you serious? Oh, he's the key? Bro. How am I going to cut up this episode to put on YouTube? Like, everything in that episode was word seeing like <laughs> how am i gonna cut this up and put it on youtube this is crazy bro everything in that episode is worth seeing like what am i gonna cut out and what am i gonna leave in in that episode like this is crazy bro this is crazy this is crazy i might have to put because i don't i mean the fight between him the fight between Jin and um the fight between Jin and the fight between him and Park, right? Fight between Mori and Park, or Park and Ilpio, right? That fight is, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not over. So I might put 10 and 11 together, and then we'll do 12 and 13 together. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I might just do that. Um, you know what? Let, let it fly. Let it fly. Let's go. Half of heaven. You then descended to earth. I honestly don't know what I'm going to cut out of episode 10, but I'll figure it out. This is crazy, though. He even got the, the sage mode eyes. That's crazy. <laughs> what in the Naruto am I watching right now? Let's go. The hell? Yeah, they're looking for the, the key to destroy the key.
そうだぜ心配には及ばないよ Mm-hmm. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh! Oh, it's Jin's time, bro. The hell? Damn, bro, what happened to your flames? Who is he channeling? Look like someone with a staff. Wait a minute. Did he blow off the roof of the of the arena? What does he have? He has something in his hand. Yo. We even get to see what kind of power it is. Whose power is he drawing from? He doesn't even know what happened.
さっきの覇気あれは何だろう<笑>はあやはり念には念を入れた方が良さそうだすぐに鍵を確保しようえまずは治療と検査が必要なため病棟へ運び請求金を<笑>そうか何か話があって来たんですねじゃあじっちゃんの頃にはジュン・ヘジュンさんもじゃあ今もジュン・ヘジュンさんはどこにいるか絶対に優勝して情報を手に入れてじっちゃんを見つけねえとそうだったんですか決勝の相手ゼガルテクはとても手強いあおさんヘレド君ならきっと勝てるそんな顔をしていたらヘジンさんに笑われますよお前と戦いたいイルピオ兄さん僕の方が年上だからお前じゃなくてイルピオ兄さんと呼ぼうかイルピオ兄さんうん必ずまた戦おう若さま Oh, he can absorb people. The hell? Oh, what is going on here?
Did he just kill him? Oh, damn. She lost her leg, too. Hold on a second. I have a theory. I think people who have weird eyes, like weird eyeballs, I think they have some sort of greater po connection with the gods. That's what I'm thinking because Mori has like star eyes for some reason. I've always looked at them like, why is that an aesthetic choice in the anime or? Does it have a deeper meaning? But now we got other people now with different symbols on their eyeballs. So I'm thinking that's why he can call stuff out of the heavens. Like, you know, like what we saw at the end of the match. Like these guys. You said you weren't the same. Well, I can understand why. <laughs> I can definitely understand why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I could definitely understand why it's over. Breath. That was some crazy stuff, man. Anyways, guys. All right. So we got episode episode 10 and 11. Bruh. <laughs> Excuse me. Animation on point. I have to give them props for that. Very fluid animation. None of these cuts. You know what I'm saying? Use your camera angles, man. I like when use camera angle and swing your cameras swing your 3d cameras man like it, it's you know what i'm saying you are dealing with two, i mean some people love 2d animation but 3d animation is it's great for fighting sequences you get what i'm saying it's just great for fighting sequences and when you do that and do it the right way you get your audience more immersed into what you're doing because when you cut cut the camera around what's going on you get what I'm saying? It just takes you out of it every few seconds. And it's just like, can we just get a fluid hand to hand? You know what I'm saying? Foot to the body, hand to the face. We want something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty cool, man, to see LPO versus um, Mori or Jin versus Park, if you want to call it that. But it was it was very well done, in my opinion. But the... I, I, I didn't like the fact that they teased who um, Mori is channeling. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, this borrowed power of the gods, right? Like, who is it? Who is it, bro? Because, obviously, the guy, it's so obvious, dude. Like, the guy that created this story, right? It's obviously a Naruto fan. Like, <laughs> like... I don't even have to ask. I could just tell by that one episode in episode 10 when the Nine Tails came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's obviously. I know that the Nine Tails is something of folklore in, in, um, in Japan. Um, I know it's some sort of folklore in, in Japan. So it's like um, the Nine Tail Fox Spirit is something that. You know what I'm saying? Like they considered it's part of their culture. You get what I'm saying? Just like how we talk about like, um, you know, Bigfoot and all of these other 
you know, creatures that probably never existed, but you know what I'm saying? It's like we talk about them as in folklore and stuff like that. That is a possibility that they might have existed. So, um, it's the same. It's the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if the nine tail spirit actually existed. I don't know, but yeah, there's people who believe that it did. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so once I saw that and the way how, you know, they animate, um, Ilpio, right? The way how they did it with the, with the shading on the high, basically reminiscent of Naruto's sage mode, um, the orange around the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course it doesn't look like, you know what I'm saying? Actual Naruto. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't look like it. Like the aesthetic of this anime is totally different. So of course they went with the tails behind him and stuff like that. It was pretty cool to see. Got the fox ears and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool to see. So I don't know what Jin's power is going to be. And that's one of the things where, where it's just like, what, who is he challenging? Channel, he obviously has a staff. I don't know who I could think of in the, in the past where I can think of where I could say, you know, based on certain lore and stuff like that, where I could probably guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they're probably going to reveal it by the end. Of, they can't make this go into second season. We don't know who this is. You know what I'm saying? Like, who is he channeling for this power? Um, and also the eye thing that I noticed, I noticed Dick with, I don't know this guy's name yet. So I'm just going to say the guy that Park was fighting against, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obviously he, it's like they want to find the key, right? But I don't think the key is actually the nine tailed Fox spirit. I think maybe they think that's the key. I think what more we have is more the key because it shut down the nine tails fox so i don't know how i don't know what they're going to do now um you know it's just so many things are left to the imagination at this point you know what i'm saying and then at the end there at the end of episode 11 you saw um what's his name you saw Elpio going through the same trauma he went through in his past. And that's how you do it, man. You hear me talking about storytelling and the set of having a backstory. Like that second part of his backstory that began episode 11. I think it was, was it episode 11 or was it, a, was, was it episode 10? I don't remember which episode it was. But that backstory of showing what happened between him and Jigal. Like in full perspective of what it, what happened. Like that is going to be something that somebody can relate to how many how many people in the world have had their friend get beaten up and treated bad and then you go take it out on that person plenty of people has done that you get what i'm saying whether it's a family member whether it's just a friend you know what i'm saying somebody beat up on your little brother you want to go take care of business yourself you know what i'm saying i remember back in school when i was like probably like I want to say probably when I was like eight or nine years old, there was these two brothers in school, right? And I'm telling you, if you mess with one of them, even if the other one is way across the other side of the school, if he hears that his brother is getting beaten up, he's running over there. No matter these two, everybody knew if you mess with one of these dudes, you're going to get it later or at this or in the midst of you trying to beat up their brother, they gonna jump your ass. <laughs> Simple and plain as that. So a lot to re relate to a relationship between, you know what I'm saying, Ilpio and, and, and Jigal. You know what I'm saying? Jigal is also after the key because, you know, obviously he's, um, you know what I'm saying? He wants to attain the power for himself. So he, 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 he probably made Knox felt like you know he was teaming up with them but then he betrayed them and killed their people so it was just cool to see man i think in these last two episodes it's like the god of high school competition is over things are getting serious you know what i'm saying now that this this other dude has come out of his cave he took off his his, his cape and everything and he's ready to go and from what i can see he's the one that attacked um 
um Tejan, right he's the one that attacks Tej Tejan. so how is this going to play out i don't know but we are going to be watching the last two episode um of this season in the next um in the next reaction so hopefully you guys will be there waiting for the finale i'm pretty sure that by now for those of you who are watching our early access you have already seen it even though i haven't reacted to it yet in real time <laughs> right you've probably already seen it so once it drops on the channel it drops on the channel we'll see how things go i'll probably as i said i'll probably release the entire season on early access and then i'll release them on the channel um every day so often you know what i mean so we'll see how things go appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man hopefully you en enjoyed your time being here with me and you wasn't bored i know this video is going to be longer than the others because it's two episodes in one and i'm also going to have trouble as i'm recording this i'm thinking about what am i going to cut out of episode 10 episode 11 there's stuff i can cut out of it but in episode 10 i don't know the entire episode was absolute fire everything was necessary to be seen but i'll figure out something anyways thank you guys so much appreciate y'all make sure you leave a like on the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you you know what i'm saying make, subscribe to the damn channel what are you waiting on you know what i'm saying like it's free man like i i hate the fact that we as creators gotta come out here and ask you guys to to subscribe you watch the content and you get to the end what is it you're just being forgetful or you just didn't like what you see because you would have watched if you watched the entire video you must have liked something about it subscribe to the channel so you know when the next episodes are dropping i might end up watching you know what i'm saying your favorite anime of all time eventually or you know what i'm saying or i've already watched it because i've watched pretty much most of the the popular things that are going on i still need to get on to i'm I, i'm i don't know i'm probably going to wait on my hero academia season five to be over before i start reacting to it because right now i don't want to be in the situation of doing episodic episodes for my hero academia but we'll see how things go because i want to probably drop two at a time so we'll see how things go but in any case guys thank you guys so much appreciate y'all i'll see you guys for the next one peace